Hello campers and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to import data from Excel to help you get started faster in Microsoft Lists. Small businesses often use Excel for organizing work and tracking information. But if you have Microsoft 365, there's a better way. Microsoft Lists. It helps you better visualize and share information. So let's head over to the PC and get started. So here I have a spreadsheet where I'm tracking order information for Argo's Gibble company. And you can see here that I have eight different columns with different information like the order date, the customer and the product that I'm selling. Now to import this list into Microsoft Lists, the first thing that I need to do is to define a table in Excel. So to create a table, all I need to do is to select an area on the worksheet. So I'm going to select everything here by just dragging and then scrolling down with the cursor. And if I switch to the insert tab, all I need to do here is click the table icon. And then in the create table dialog, it's just asking me to confirm that I want to use this selection to create the table and that the first row includes the headers for my list. So I'm going to click here. OK. Now all you need to do is save this workbook and close it. So now I'm going to create a new list. I'm going to do that from the office.com homepage. So if I click on the applications here, I have applications in my recently used list. But if you don't have it, you just click on all apps and you'll find lists in the list of apps here. So I'm going to click lists and now I want to create a new list and I'm going to create a new list from Excel. Now I have the choice here to upload a file from my local device, but the spreadsheet we were just using is actually on my OneDrive. So you can see it here under my files, and I'm gonna click next to open that spreadsheet. Now there's only one table in this spreadsheet, so I'm gonna make sure that's selected. You can see there table one, and then there's a list of the columns you can see from that spreadsheet. And I'm going to talk you through this one by one so that you understand the cell type for each column and some of them I'm going to exclude from this export and I'll explain why as I go along. So the first thing that I need to set is the title cell type. Now this is important because the title is information that you should always be able to see. Especially if you're using lists on a mobile device, you need to be able to see that important information even when you're scrolling through left and right to view all of the other cells. So the most important information here is the product that I'm selling. So I'm going to make that the title. You can see here that lists has imported the date sometimes incorrectly. So I'm going to deal with that later after we've created the list. And for the time being, I'm going to just say do not import. We only have four regions, so I want to make that a choice between the four different regions so it's easier to input that information. Representative, I want to make a user in my office.com Azure Active Directory. Now I can't actually do that with a pre-populated list that I import from Excel. So I'm going to say do not import and I'll show you how to deal with that problem later. Order paid is just a yes or no toggle. So again, I'm going to make that a choice. And the order ship date, that needs to be date and time. So once I've set all of the different cell types, I'm now ready to continue. So I'm going to click next. And I just need to give the new list here a name. Optionally, you can give it a description and you can set a color here. So I'm just gonna click orange and give it a clipboard icon. Finally, we need to save it. If you save it under my lists, it will save it to your personal OneDrive, or you can choose to save it to a SharePoint site or team site. And now I just click create and it will take us to our new list. So you can see here now that we have the columns imported from the spreadsheet. The title column has been moved to pole position. So we get that right at the front region was imported as a choice, but I'd like to give it the choice formatting. So I'm going to click here, column settings, format this column, and I'm going to give it the choice pills formatting style. And you can see there is automatically assigned each of my regions with a different color. So that's fine. I'm going to do the same with order paid because that should also be formatted for the choice pill editing style. And now all I need to do is deal with those two columns that I didn't import from the Excel spreadsheet. So I'm going to add them here. So I'm going to click add column 
and the first one was for representative so I want to make that a person data type so I'm going to type here rep and I want to show profile pictures if they exist and that's fine and you can see now that column has been added and now I'm going to add the order date column it's going to be date and time so I'm going to type here order date leave all the default settings and click save. Now in order to add the information, I need to copy it from Excel and paste it into lists. In order to paste the information, I need to switch to edit in grid view. And I want to fill out the rep information. So just like we do in Excel, I need to select all of the rows. So I'm gonna do that by clicking and dragging with the mouse. Now what I need to do is go back to my spreadsheet and copy out the information here for the representative. So I'm going to click Control C. If I go back to my list, all I need to do is click Control V to paste it into my list. And now you can see we have all of that rep information pasted in from the spreadsheet. And I can do exactly the same thing with the order date. So I can select these cells so that all of the rows are selected for this column. Then go back to my spreadsheets. Again, highlight all of the order date column here right down to the bottom row. Press Ctrl C on the keyboard to copy the cell information. Go back to my list, hit Ctrl V. And now you can see all of those dates have been pasted from the Excel spreadsheet. To save this information, I need to click Exit Grid View. And you can see now here that we have this information for the representative and the order date in the correct format. If you like this video and found it useful, please give it a like so that as many people can see it as possible. If you'd like to find out more about how to use Microsoft Lists, I have two more videos that you can see on the screen now, and you should watch those next. But that's it from me today, and I'll see you next time.